Time Warner Cable News New York One, all morning. And now, here's a look at what's happening in your neighborhood. A new costume exhibit offers a look back at some significant events in history. Some of the designs are fun, others are a bit darker. Roger Clark joins us now to explain. Good morning again, Roger. Hey, Pat, good morning. And, you know, we've been here before at the School of Visual Arts, of course, very talented students here. And uh, over the years, we've uh, done many exhibits with uh, Kevin O'Callaghan, who's the chairman of the 3D Design Department. This is another one, and it's called Dress for the Occasion. I could read it right off the wall. That's the best part about these exhibits. It makes it easy for the reporter guy. <laughs> and uh, here he is, Kevin O'Callaghan himself. Great to see you. And uh, tell me a little bit about what you had the students do for this one. Well, this was a, a show where it's based on uh, traditional ceremonial costumes. I saw an article in the National Geographic about the subject. And we asked the students to create a ceremonial costume to a particular event that is celebrating an anniversary this year in 2015. So it's everything from the slinky, the invention of the slinky, to eBay, Katrina. I mean, it just is an amazing exhibition. I'm really, really proud of it. Yeah, I mean, it really, it looks great, and uh, you know, it's it, and, and you basically the way you do it is you kind of give them a starting point and just say go, and that's it, and then a little help along the way. You know? Yeah, well, the starting point was a, a traditional dress form, and of course, we have a large surplus of uh, all kinds of materials that the students can use, design with, borrow at times. Cool. And one of your students is right here, Jake Kotov. Yeah, We're going to walk over. And you chose, and you can tell from your tie, yeah. the death of Vincent Van Gogh, the 125th anniversary yeah. this year. It, so it's a suit, but with wheat. And yeah. this is the best question is, how do you find wheat in New York City? <laughs> well, that, that was the challenge with this class, because I knew I was going to use wheat because Van Gogh died, in the, or at least committed suicide in the wheat field. So I was going to base it off that concept. And I was like, where can I find wheat in New York City? So I went, I searched, looked online, and the best place was like the Flower District. So I walked on down over to like the 29th Street area, went to the Flower District, asked around, and I found some dry, bushels of dried wheat. And that's where I just kept getting it from. So it was a crazy experience, just like going around, walking around New York City looking for wheat which is like a weird thing to say. <laughs> well, great job. It's beautiful. <laughs> Love the tie, too, of course, Van Gogh. And, uh, okay, you want to come uh, check out the students of, of Kevin O'Callaghan? Always great stuff. So just come here. It's the SVA Gramercy Gallery, easy to find, 23rd Street between 2nd and 3rd. And uh, it'll be up through April 11th at least. For more information, go to sva.edu slash events. And, Pat, now I know where to go for wheat in New York City. I'm very excited about this because I'm, I'm always in the mood for wheat. So it's like, you know. <laughs> That's W H E A T. You're saying, right? H E A. Yeah, of course. Okay. So it sounded that like kind of wheat. Yeah. Sounded like something else, like those Kmart commercials. Okay. All right. That, 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 thank you. No, right. no, no. It's a.